as you know, life at Versailles was dictated by etiquette and protocol. But what did the day in the life of Louis XIV actually look like? Let's find out. In the heart of the Palace of Versailles, just outside Paris, lies the bedroom of His Majesty Louis XIV, King of France. All is still quiet in the nerve center of French power, but this all changes when the first valet awakens the king, thus setting in motion the proceedings of the daily court ritual. The king's daily schedule determines the rhythm and meaning of life at court. It is a lavishly staged play with Louis as its protagonist and director. His stage is the sumptuous chateau with its beautiful gardens and the king's props and costumes are expensive and elegant. The nobles who live at court act as the audience and extras in the king's self-staged play. But the court ceremonial with which the king surrounds himself is much more than just a show-off. The absolute monarchy has stripped all the power from the nobles living at court and has locked them into the strictness of court ceremony. 8 a.m. Every morning, the first valet de chambre, who sleeps at the foot of the king's bed, awakens Louis XIV with the words Sire, voilà l'heure, which means Your Highness, it is time. As soon as he gets up, Louis has his wig handed to him as the actually bald king never appears in public without it. During the ceremony of the Petit Levé at 8.15 a.m., Louis' personal physicians enter and the king is washed, combed and shaved. The first valet hands the king a damp cloth on which the king wipes his hands. Another servant hands him a Bible for his morning prayers. At 8.30 a.m., about 100 male courtiers enter the royal bedchamber to attend the Grand Levé, during which the monarch is dressed and drinks a soup for breakfast. During the entire Levé ceremony, which can last up to two hours, there is a respectful silence in the room. Nobody speaks, protocol does not allow it. Only Louis engages in small talk about the hunt, the most recent party, or he directs a friendly word to those present. 10 a.m. The king, followed by his courtiers, exits his bedchamber and traverses the Hall of Mirrors to visit the chapel. This is a moment all courtiers have been waiting for, as they now catch their first glimpse of the king and are able to briefly address him or hand him a note if they are lucky. Every morning, Louis attends Mass, which lasts approximately half an hour. 11 a.m. Council meetings are held with the King's advisors. All major topics concerning the affairs of state are discussed during these meetings. On Sundays and Thursdays, external affairs are discussed. On Monday, internal affairs are the topic of conversation. On Tuesday and Saturdays, financial matters are looked into. And on Fridays, the Council of Religious Affairs is held. Five or six ministers surround the king, who speaks little, but listens carefully and makes every final decision himself. At this time, the king also gives out orders to his household, which are so detailed that one knows almost down to the quarter hour what the king will be doing that day, writes the Duc de Saint-Simon in his memoirs. 1 p.m. During the Petit Couvert, the king takes his lunch alone, seated at a table in his bedchamber. The great officers and princes of the blood attend, but remain standing. The meal is long, as there are three to five courses, each consisting of five to seven meat or fish dishes. When the king asks a courtier to his table to hold his napkin, it is considered to be a great honor that most nobles at court can only dream of. 2 p.m. During the afternoon, Louis reserves time for himself to go hunting in the woods, strolling through the gardens, taking carriage rides, or the king visits one of his favorite ladies at court. 6 p.m. Louis enters his state apartments, where the court gathers to pay its respect to their king. 
A buffet is set up where food and drinks are served for the courtiers to enjoy. Until dinner time, the courtiers enjoy music, entertainment, billiards and gambling. During the later days of his reign, the king leaves his son in charge of the entertainment while he visits the apartments of Madame de Maintenon to look into important matters of state. The time spent at the apartments ends at 10 pm, but this does not mean the day is over. 10 pm. It is dinner time for the king. The court now moves into the antechamber of the king's apartments to attend the king's dinner. Louis XIV eats in the company of the queen and their children. Other members of the royal family are also admitted to this table. After dinner, the king returns to his personal rooms. On his way there, he makes time for the ritual called Bonsoir aux Dames, during which the king takes some time to talk to the ladies of the court. Afterwards, he retires to his chambers, where he spends some time with his personal friends. 11.30 pm. Louis's day draws to a close. But just like Louis's morning routine, the ceremony surrounding the king's bedtime is a public and extensive affair. The king retires to his bedroom and sits on a chair to have his clothes removed. Every evening, the king selects one courtier who has the privilege of holding the candle which is used to light the king's bed. Eventually, around 1 pm, the day of the Sun King finally ends, and the king falls asleep. At his royal feet, his first valet remains vigilant and counts the hours until 8 am, when the king is woken again with the words Sire, voilà l'heure. Thank you for watching.